Hey guys, it's makeup tutorial time again. Okay. Hey, hot miss fan. Oh my god. Yes! I use this camera Hey guys, thanks for stopping by my channel. This is a very quick in and out video. Um, I had a highly requested video to show specifically how I apply the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Illuminating Palette. Um, I do have a video already out. It's just a basic uh, my two cents about it. It is the highly coveted um, illuminating palette from Wet n Wild. This one's called Catwalk Pink. I think it was the only one that they had. Um, again, you can use each one of these individually as a highlight or swirl them for another one. So you basically get five colors. Um, I usually swirl, so um, I'm just going to do it quick quick uh quick and easy uh, i've got my makeup on and um i usually use this particular brush for any of my highlighting i am in the market for a um a fan brush and i know wet n wild does have one coming out i do have a couple of their brushes i just haven't found the fan brush um stores like to go ahead and carry one or two of the brushes and not the whole line so I go to one store and I grab one brush there I go to another store and then you know I grab a brush there so it's kind of hard I may have to go online and order it but uh, as as of right now I am using this this is the real techniques um, contour brush um, I used to use this a lot uh, back and forth I would use this for my highlight and and my contour I would just wipe it down so I would swirl it just like that and then I would put it on the high points of my cheeks just right there now my lighting's probably not that good so you're probably not going to be able to see it too well um I'm a little older so I try not to get um anywhere near underneath the uh, under eye because that will just extenuate any um, fine lines that I may have. I should stop saying that though, that whole little I'm a little older because there's people out there that are younger than me and have it worse so you just want to stay away from the fine lines. Um, and then I put it down my nose a little bit on the upper. I usually do this after or before I put uh, lipstick on. So yeah. Try to work it in. And that is it. Boom. Um, everybody has their own techniques on how they like to put on their um, illuminating powder. I see a lot of people like to use their fingers. Um, some people like to warm it up to be able to um, make it more cohesive. Um, others like to use the brush. I, like I said, use this one, but others do like to use the fan brush or some specific brush. A lot of them like to use stippling brush. This is the ELF small stippling. I mean, you don't have to go make or you don't have to go buy um, some really random expensive one. The the uh, fan brush I'm looking for at for Wet n Wild is actually probably only like 99 cents or something. So you don't have to spend a lot of money to find a specific brush if you um, want it um, for that particular reason. Like I said, a lot of people like to use this. I just like to use this personally and it goes on. And if you don't have anything, just use your finger. It's really, really, really easy. And then also if I am feeling a little, a little froggy, I got the lighter part on this side. And then you just put a little bit in between. I just dot it in there and then I'll use this just to buff it out just a little bit. There you go. Of course, there's different options that you can use this uh, palette for. But again, this was a requested video about how I 
put it on and that's how I do it. I hope that helped. Thanks for watching and if you haven't already, uh, please subscribe and like the video and until next time, bye.